Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ani and today's video I'm going to be reviewing Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayburn. For the title, it is going to be spoiler free and if you didn't know what the book is about, it's about four 60 something years old retirees go on a all-inclusive vacation where they find out that their ex-employer is trying to kill them. Of course, they're not happy about this because they are former assassins. So if you haven't guessed it already, of course, they're going to go on a revenge spree. And this is a new release book. So I was so excited to read this, get my hands on it. Came out last month. So here it is. This book is, of course, all female characters. All the assassins are females and they work for the agency called Museum. This book reminded me a lot like, have you ever watched Gunpowder Milkshake from Netflix or Charlie's Angels? Of course, that would be the most common one. So that's what this reminded me of. The 60 something years old assassins are all women. And of course, that's what I was thinking, you know, more like Charlie's Angels, slash golden girls i love charlie's angels when it came out with cameron diaz and lucy Liu and drew barrymore it was just so good so i was going into this book not knowing that that's what i was going to expect like all female characters and they're all badasses it was just such a great idea however there is a negative side to it considering this is a thriller book you know you want to not know what happens at the end but i felt like i kind of already knew what was gonna happen pretty much you know 50 pages in so i felt like the story wasn't delivered how i was expecting it i loved the concept of the book and i loved seeing or reading about you know familiar places a lot of them were in texas so i liked those things however like i said i did not want to know right off the bat what was going to happen at the end even though you know you have an idea but you want to be proven wrong at the end when you read a thriller book at least in my opinion and then of course another thing this book was also supposed to be funny and i did not find it funny at all there were like a handful of parts were funny but it was not like humorous like the description explained and then also i felt like the women were portrayed a lot older than their actual age. They're supposed to be like in their 60s, right? But I felt like they were more like, you know, in their 80s or something. That's just how they came across to me. And I was like disappointed at that part as well, because the, the you know, the picture in my head were not matching up with the book. But I'm not giving away anything from the book. You know, even if you think that I am, I'm not, because you already know from the blurb that this book is about, you know, people, the main characters are like 60 plus. So that's why I'm saying that it felt like their age seemed off to me. Another thing I was having issues with this book, with the age part of it actually, is that they used to be former assassins. So aren't they going to be like physically trained and well and, you know, people who exercise? And they were complaining a lot about their well-being and, you know, physical pains, you know, that relates to, you know, aging. And I was thinking that, how is that possible? I get that they can do certain things, but they were still like able to, you know, kill someone with all their trainings that they have received in the past. So with that in mind, you know, I was just thinking that they're going to be healthy, but apparently not. So I don't know. I was kind of getting confused a lot. I guess, like I said, that the visual I had in my mind, it was just not matching with the book for some reason. So kind of like threw me off, I guess, a little bit. So like I was explaining that I feel like I have more cons for this book than pros. And those are just, you know, the noticeable things that I want to share with you about this book that's, you know, in a review form and without giving any spoiler. Considering it's a new release, I was really looking forward to it. And I am kind of bummed that I'm only giving this book two stars. I wanted to love this book so much. I was, you know, rooting for five stars. I was like, this is going to be such a good book. And I love, you know, reading mystery and thriller books. So considering, like I said, these are all female characters, I was even more excited for it. But there's always that but. It just did not, you know, it didn't do it for me like how I was expecting, unfortunately. So yeah, this is still an okay book, you know, 
I would suggest you just get the book from like the library or something if you can and that way you could just get a taste of it instead of purchasing it unless you want to purchase it and read it like you're one of those people it's completely okay as well but to me yeah it just did not hold up to my expectation of five stars Hope you enjoyed this quick short review of Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayburn. If you want to hear me talk more about books, I suggest you check out my September wrap-up video, which is right here. And I will see you there. Until next time, take care.